lovelies, I thought I'd do a really quick empties video. I thought I'd have more items to show you, but it turns out that they're actually just boxes to other stuff I'm waiting to use up. But I thought I'd do this anyway just to get rid of these items. The first thing is from Burt's Bees and this is the Therapeutic Bath Crystals with Eucalyptus Oil. I was really disappointed by these. I liked the sound of them. thought it was going to be nice and refreshing and slightly tingly and just add to my bathing experience but they were just a bit naff. I don't think bath crystals are really for me because I like my bath bombs and all my bubbles and crazy colours. I like the full works and I just find these a little bit boring. But the product itself is quite nice. It's meant to be really really good for achy muscles. I found the best thing to do is to start running the water with just the hot tap. Just get it the hottest that you can and pop these crystals where the water goes near the plug hole. All you need is about a tablespoon, you don't need any more otherwise they won't melt and then you kind of end up sitting on what feels like gravel. So put these in your bath straight away with boiling hot water and then they should all dissolve and then just run your bath like normal once they are dissolved. The pot has kind of gone a bit rusty. I don't know if you can see this but here where it's got wet constantly it's gone kind of rusty around here and I actually find that the rust almost like drops off so I always made sure I opened it over the sink because I didn't want like the rusty bits going into my bath. I like Burt's Bees, I really do and I think if you like bath salts I think you would like these so I recommend them for those of you who just like quite plain baths and like bath salts. They do last ages. Like I always do I'll link all of these in the down bar, I'll try and find links to anywhere for you. Next is something that you've seen very recently in my last video. This is the Grow Gorgeous Cleansing Conditioner. I said I really liked this when I spoke about this in my last video. I still stick by that but I don't love it as much. I think for my hair I really need to have a deep conditioner and just this on its own didn't seem to do my hair any favours. I got three washes out of this. There's still a tiny bit in the bottom but it's not enough for me to use to wash my hair. The idea with this is that it's meant to deep cleanse, deep condition, hydrate the hair and scalp, add luster, add shine, reduce frizz, makes hair soft, makes styling easier and adds volume and you only have to pop it in your hair once, rinse once and you're done. You don't need to shampoo, rinse and then add conditioner, rinse. You just use this once and rinse it out. It says it's meant to improve as you use it and I found that my hair just kind of went downhill. I just don't think this is enough for my hair because I have quite coarse hair. But if you have thinner hair, I think this would be amazing for you. Next is just a hand wash from Marks and & Sparks and this is the Warm Winter Citrus. I bought this back in probably September or October. Mm, it just smells amazing. I also bought the room spray which I think I still have some of. Um, it was a very lovely autumnal scent. It had the citrus in it but then it also had the spices. If this is around again this autumn then I'm probably going to get this again. Next is the Lush Dream Wash Shower Smoothie and I probably will be buying this again. It's meant to be great if you have troubled skin, if you have eczema, sunburn, you name it. It's meant to be amazing for that. One of the main ingredients in this is calamine. So it's a pink clay, has a gentle toning antiseptic action and can help calm the skin. I definitely think it helps to calm the skin. Since I can remember I've had this thing on my arms and my legs called, um, the short term is KP but I'll write it here. The nickname for it is chicken skin. Ages ago I said I'd do a video on it because no one really knew what it was but I feel like lots of people kind of know what it is now but I don't know maybe I'll still do a video on it if you guys ask. But yeah, I found this was amazing on my KP. It just really calms it. And the thing I love about this is that when you get out of the bath or the shower, it makes your skin feel really moisturized and soft, but you still get that squeaky clean feeling without feeling dry. The smell is okay, it's not amazing, but it's not offensive as well. I do recommend it. Next is this Lee Stafford Light Oil Repairing Mist. I'm not too sure why I got this. I think I just randomly picked it up. I really, really like this. This is meant to be a lightweight non-greasy dry oil mist formulated with sweet almond oil which is rich in fatty acids antioxidants and proteins making this a perfect formula for fine damaged hair i don't have fine or damaged hair but i do have quite thick coarse hair so something like this is just nice to sort of add to the ends of my hair just to rehydrate them between washes and i just really like it i either add it on my hair when it's damp before i blow dry it or like i said i just add it randomly throughout the day if I feel like my hair just needs an extra little bit of shine and a bit of hydration. The smell of this is amazing. 
it's so good so again yes i recommend this this is aroma water from lush this is one of their toner waters i got this one because i do suffer from dry skin and a bit of redness here and there because i'm so pale any redness from spots or just general redness <laughs> will just show up so i wanted something that was going to help with redness and also hydrate my skin it's got lavender water and rose water in so lavender water is good for its soothing properties and then rose water is really really good to help retain moisture it helps to even skin tone and improve its appearance didn't really notice that I did anything for my skin. It is nice though just to sort of freshen up and to either spray over your makeup during the day if you get a little bit hot and bothered and you just want to freshen up or in the morning if you don't need to wash your face but you just want to get rid of maybe any dirt that's built up. It's also great to use after you've taken your makeup off just to get rid of any bits of makeup you may have missed. They could last me about three or four months and I was using it almost every day. I didn't think it was going to last long because I like to spray quite a lot onto a cotton pad. I don't like my cotton pad to feel damp I like it to feel wet so I was spraying a lot of this and I thought well this isn't gonna last long is it but it did it lasted me so long last two things I told you this would be a quick one got some bioderma for you I know I've mentioned this one before but I just wanted to mention it again because I think that the blue capped one for dehydrated skin is my favorite for smell for the ability to take your makeup off and oh and just in general this one's my favorite I do have this one here which is the one for for oily combination skin. I'm really struggling with my skin lately. I have even blackheads like coming up on my forehead here, got them around my nose. I have acne all over my forehead. You may not even be able to see it on camera and it's definitely nowhere near as bad as a lot of people's, but it is just there constantly and I don't know what's happening. I have still have dry skin but I'm still getting spotty so I got this in the hope that maybe it would sort out my skin and it didn't make it worse but it also didn't help it so for me the spots on my skin is more of an internal thing that I need to figure out but yeah this didn't really help me so I went back to this one and boom <laughs> that's my empties very very little one. I hope you enjoyed the video though and I will see you in my next one. I don't know why I'm singing like that. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.